So we're here at the ARM TechCon, and who are you? I'm uh, James McNiven. I'm the general manager of the CPU group at ARM. So what do you do every day? <laughs> uh, every day. So I'm responsible for running the CPU team, which basically means the engineering, the marketing, and the, the operations, the delivery of our CPUs um, that we're, uh, we have out there for our partners. So that means uh, ARM, Cortex-A, everything? Cortex-A, Cortex-R, Cortex-M, and our secure cores as well. That's right. So uh, here at the show, you announced uh, A35. Yeah, we did. Cortex-A35, uh, our most efficient Cortex-A processor. And we talk about you know how it's, uh, you know, it's both 64 and 32-bit, ARM V8A, and aimed really at the next billion smartphone users, as we say, so entry-level smartphones, and it's going to um, be the next lot of designs built on top of the Cortex-A7 and the success of the A7 and A5 that we've uh, we've seen out in the market today. So how long have you been uh, doing this job? <laughs> Actually, this job I've been doing uh, for about uh, four months now. I've been at ARM for 15 years, been in a whole variety of roles from uh, software through hardware, through engineering, management, and more. So usually with the uh, ARM uh, CPU, right, uh, it takes a bunch of years for stuff to come out That's and right. then come, yeah. like, be announced. And yeah. then after it gets announced, it takes shorter and shorter time. It's getting faster and faster. It is you know? getting. You're right. Absolutely right. I mean, Cortex A35 is a good example. You know, we um, we we're releasing it. We're talking about it today, and we expect to see it in devices before the end of next year. So uh, in just about one year's time, we'll be seeing that out there in the market. That's faster than you, than previous year, right? Every year gets faster, and uh, I mean every every. Every year, people need to go faster and faster to get uh, get that out to the market as quickly as we can. So, at Arm, how do you uh, uh, prioritize? What's important to do? How do you, do you sit down by, uh, and there's a round table with all the guys sitting around, or how does it work? Well, there's a whole, uh, whole load of ways we do it. I mean, one of the important things, of course, is we, we have what we think is the right thing to do, but we also talk to our partners. You know, we talk to talk to them to see what they need, what the, um, the, the handset manufacturers need, you know, the guys who create servers, etc. And through all of that, we try and do the right thing. And how can you, how do you get all that technology made? Or, I mean, you basically design it, right? Yeah, so it's how, how a lot it? of engineering, right? A lot of great engineering. Um, well, at least that's the that's what we try and do. So we have uh, hundreds, of thousands of engineers actually now in ARM who, who work on everything from hardware through to software uh, and more. So there's some projects in, in the Cambridge and some projects elsewhere, yeah, and you have yeah. to, to coordinate. Or yeah, we have multiple sites. So you know, we may have um, CPU engineering going on in Cambridge, in in Austin. In, in, in Sofia and more, um, and then other teams also have different sites. And uh, hopefully, you know, as much as we can, we try and put a project in one place. But yeah, we have to spend a lot of time uh, trying to talk and communicate well across those teams. So last year was 12 billion processors, right? Yeah, 12 billion. And this year it's yeah. going to be interesting to to <laughs> see how right. many. And uh, but right. most of them are actually uh, uh, Cortex Cortex M. Uh, or well, no? we do a lot of Cortex M, but we have a huge amount of Cortex A and Cortex R. And, and actually, you know. Cortex R, you know, hard disks in in cars, in 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 other storage devices. There's a lot of these other types of processors that aren't talked about. So you know, it's um, that 12 billion is made up of a lot of different types of processor because you know different processors are good at doing different things. And uh, the whole uh, uh, strategy. Mm -hmm. Which is what you work on, right? You do the strategy. Well, strategy and execution, right? Um, and execution. And you know, one of the great things about coming to you know TechCon is also talking to other partners um, and you know updating them on what we're doing, hearing what they're doing, and uh, also working out you know where we're going from here. So uh, the strategy is is based on uh, what's it called? The, the, what the market needs. And well, it's both what the market needs and is telling us, and also where we, we try and predict where things will go as well, and that's also important. Um, so, you know, we're trying to create technology that will be used, you know, in the next, for the next, you know, sometimes over five years away from now. So, you know, sometimes we also have to just, uh, you know, do a lot of research ourselves as to what we think is the right thing to do. Um, and you can also see some of that hopefully around here. You know, we've been betting on things such as, you know, embed um, and other technologies um, for several years before they make it here. I mean, ARM V8M was uh, one of the other things we announced this week so uh, putting extra security into the sort of microcontroller market the deeply embedded devices and we've been researching that for many years now before of course we talk about it today and uh, we are not launching any products based on it today and that will come in the future but you know that's uh, an incredible amount of work that's been taken many years to come to fruition <laughs> and uh, um, it's, it's really important kind of like uh, role uh, for arm to get this right 
uh, because I, uh, if you don't get it right, then the world has an issue, right? <laughs> I mean, the security has to work in IoT, right? Yeah, absolutely, and it's not just us as well. You know, I mean, our business model, you know, involves our partnership. So our partnership also has to build this in and use it in the right way as well, so that ultimately developers and end users, you know, you know get the right solution. It's not just us. It's uh, it's a it's a team sport. So how how is execution? How does that work? How do you make sure things actually, you know, uh, get get done? So, uh, well, a lot of planning, um, a lot of hopefully experience as well. You know, um, we've been doing a lot of this for a long time, so to a certain extent, you know, there's also experience comes into play. But um, you know, sometimes things go wrong. But generally, on the whole, it's a lot of hard work by a lot of people around uh, the company and also by the partners as well, which is you know what this show is also about. Do you, do you identify your superstar engineers and they kind of like get super efficient at getting things done, <laughs> and then uh, like the, they have a team that help them and stuff like that? Well, uh, so they're all they're, to a certain extent, you know, right? They're all superstars, right? They all play their part in delivering a product. And, you know, that could be uh, hundreds of man years of effort and. Uh, you know, it takes a whole team to deliver that sort of thing. And it's also based on what technology allows. I mean, what's available with the, yeah. with the nodes, right, with the uh, uh, heat, with the, all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, that whole you know energy efficiency is critical for us. And you know, if you if you have a phone, you know, there's a, only a certain amount of power draw, and of course, the thermals that uh, really uh, you know can be uh, accommodated. And so we do try and uh, with CPUs, GPUs, etc. We do try and uh, target a particular process. Although our partners will build on different processes as well. Well, but yeah, well, there's definitely you know ones we try and target, and we can optimize the microarchitecture for that process. So you're based in Cambridge, right? I am based in Cambridge, although I'm uh, often elsewhere, like today, right? So uh, yeah. But uh, I'm imagining, uh, what's the atmosphere in the offices when you just sit down and you sit? Oh man, we just sold four billion of those. Or something. I mean, is is it what like uh, you know everybody is uh, happy say, or what? You know, well, I'd say the main thing. What we all always love is just to see these sort of end results. You know, I mean, uh, you know, we talk to the teams and the teams see different devices out there, different um, different everything from toys to cars, right? Using using some of our technology and our partners' technology, and that's what we love to see. I mean, that's what it's all about at the end of the day, trying to create new stuff and seeing it used in new stuff as well. And there's more and more that needs to be done now, like. Uh, there's there's going to be even more innovation happening, right? Well, I hope so. I mean, certainly that's what drives us. Right? I mean, uh, you know, 12 billion CPUs last year used in ways that we never imagined. And, uh, of course, we've got to hope that that continues, definitely.